So Alex, this is the fifth sculpture that you're doing for the city of Dorval uh, this year. There's four more along the lakeshore. Uh, they're super cool. We really enjoyed seeing those. Uh, which one is going here? This is the figure skating uh, jet one. Uh, I like it uh, for the movement it will have. It is really into uh, like dancing, but also sliding on the ice. And uh, one of the f fun th thing to do with the snow sculpture is to get the nice lines and curves. And this one offers me the opportunity to do them. So. And you designed this yourself and you send in the design to the city for approval? Right. The city is implied that many, uh, in many aspects, you have the cultural uh, department that is in touch with me for the, the subject that is to be treated. So uh, this year uh, they asked me a, a few drawings for uh, different possibilities and uh, I did more than what we do just to have uh, the choice and uh, this is one of the choices that has been done, uh, chosen. And uh, after that, I give uh, the city plans to uh, build boxes. Uh, and when they build that boxes, they can put snow in it uh, by blowing it with big uh, city blowers and make a big block. And then I have uh, to, to carve in it. How long does it take for you to uh, complete a structure on average? It between, it's between four and eight hours. Average of six. It depends on the detail. If there are many characters, it's longer because uh, what is the longest is the, the face. The detail of the face uh, takes uh, more time. And what does this bring to the citizens and passerbyers? Uh, I think it brings happiness because uh, uh, when people pass by, they are all uh, happy to see that uh, we uh, do something for them, even though it's the pandem pandemic. So, uh, and it, uh, it touches their inner child. And uh, it's fun to see an inner child of uh, whatever age that gets out uh, in awe and uh, say, ah, wow, it's fun. 